Hi guys, so I'm here today with Steph Stone Nails, the queen of nails. And because we are in the Easter month, one of my favorite months, April, um, we are gonna be doing a fun Easter egg nail tutorial for you guys. As you can see, we've already gone ahead and started with a base for each of the nail colors, and these are the colors that we've chosen for today. Right, yeah, we chose pastels because those look like Easter eggs. Yeah. And then we're gonna be adding some details on, really simple to yeah. recreate, and it's gonna be super cute. Okay, so the first nail that I'm gonna start with is the white one. It's actually not gonna be an Easter egg. It's the only one that's not gonna be an egg. Oh, okay. It's going to be a little carrot. Oh, cute. You gotta have some healthy food. Yes, with we all do. Your sweets. Exactly. I perfect like it. For Easter. So I'm taking an orange polish. Okay. And then I'm starting at the base of the nail and painting outwards a little V. Oh, we've done this before in our junk food nail tutorial. Right, with the pizza. Oh, yes. So I'm not fully extending it to the edge of the nail. Okay. I'm kind of closing it off right there. And I'm gonna fill it in with the polish. Okay. So we're gonna let that dry before we add on the other details and we're gonna move on to the Easter eggs themselves. So I'm taking my white striping brush. If you don't have a striping brush that comes in the bottle, you can just use a regular striper brush and use white polish or acrylic paint works really well too. Okay. So we're gonna be doing a lot of stripes and polka dots for these. Ooh. So now how did you come up with this idea? Um, it's really just directly inspired right. from Easter eggs. Easter eggs. So, do you paint Easter eggs? <laughs> um, with my son, yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah. That's something that you I miss doing. That. Maybe I should do it this time. This you year. should. So I'm just taking one stripe down the center. And it's really simple to get straight lines with your striping brush. Yeah. So much easier with that size of brush. And then we're gonna do vertical lines across this one. Okay. Now I remember in last time when I was doing your nails, it's always so important to clean off the brush because if you have excess paint on it, eh, sometimes it can really bleed onto the nail in places you don't want it to go. Right, and it's gonna drip everywhere. Yeah. Okay. So we're just adding the stripes first. For the thumb, we're gonna do a zigzag. I like this because with the base colors on your nails, they already look like Easter eggs as it is. Right? And the white really pops yeah. even though they're pastels. Too. I think it's always so much better too when you're wearing bunny ears on your head. It just makes everything so much better. Everything's better with, with ears. some sort of ears. You're a big fan of having your ears on. Right. Now do you make, do you custom make your own ears? I have, yeah. They're like my security blanket on I like my it. YouTube channel. That's like having my hair down. You know, that security right. blanket. Yeah. All right, so we've added stripes. Next, we are going to finish off the carrot. Mm -hmm. So I'm just taking a green polish and I'm just gonna dab on the stem. I'm cleaning off the excess polish, and then I'm just tapping it on in little stems. And then I'm gonna take the white striping brush again, and then just draw little lines, like you know how carrots yeah. have little wrinkles? those on. Give it that little bit of detail, it makes all the difference in the right? world. Right? Cute. Love that. So cute. Yeah. All right, and then lastly, we're gonna add our polka dots to the details. So I'm gonna take the white, and we're gonna make the yellow nail larger polka dots. So I'm dabbing white polish onto a piece of aluminum. That's so you can do the back of the brush? Right. And then I'm taking the back of the brush again. You're learning the same I'm tricks. I'm learning, I'm like, learning. 
it's back a, of the brush. It's fun because nail art, once you learn the basic right. tricks, you can kind of just get it. So we're doing three dots down the middle, and then we're gonna do two on the side, on both sides. Oh, I love it's that. It's like perfectly symmetrical polka dots. The dotting tool is my favorite trick because yes. it's so hard to paint perfect right. circles. Perfect so. circles. But it makes it so simple. Yay. All right, and then we are going to take our smaller dotting tool for some of the other details. So again, if you don't have one of these nail tools, you can use the end of a bobby pin or a toothpick. Or a paper clip. Yeah. Oh, so this really gets the finer dots. Right, yeah, so you get smaller dots. Awesome. awesome, there we go. Fun, easy, simple, cute Easter egg nails. There you have it. I can't think of any simpler way to like accessorize your no, outfit. Than, I can't either. Like these simple Easter egg nails. I am set and ready to go for this month now with my perfect, easy, so let's do a top coat just okay. to seal in the look. And again, we're gonna work backwards so we don't drag the detailing you just painted. So again, with the top coat, you wanna use a thicker brush, a thicker um, top coat, because you don't wanna pull anything from the designs. Exactly. I remember in the junk food nail tutorial thinking that it was really difficult, but I mean, even though this might look a little bit difficult, it's really not. Right, this was so simple. Mm -hmm. The top coat just seals it in and gives it that nice gloss look too. Right, and it makes it look smooth. Top coat's my favorite step. Yeah. Voila. And lastly, let's do some quick dry. Always need the quick dry. I love this too because it moisturizes the, the cuticles. cuticles at the same time. So there you have it, a super simple and very cute Easter-inspired nail tutorial done by the one and only Steph. Yay, thank you so much for having me. I had so much fun doing these, and I think that this is one of the most simple mm -hmm. nail looks, and it's perfect. It's gonna perfect match your for the Easter holiday, basket. right? Yeah, exactly. But I think we want to see your take on an Easter-inspired nail design, right? There's so many different right. things you could do. That's one of my favorite things, is seeing everybody's recreations too. and their interpretations of what we do on the channel. So, yeah, so I feel like for yeah. this one, use the hashtag ShayEasterNails. Steph and I are gonna choose our favorites and send out a little gift for the winner. That is so yeah. much fun, yeah. oh my gosh. And I have a little gift for you, and um, check out my channel to see what I got for Shay. I'm excited. I Thank you. Yeah. Okay guys, see you over on Steph's channel. Thanks for watching, be sure to like, subscribe, and again, don't forget to leave a comment and hashtag sending your photo of an Easter-inspired nail design. Bye. Let's get some chocolate. <laughs>